We discovered a lost village in the heart of Lancashire and we're inviting you to join us as we explore the ruins of Wycollar Hall and then walk to the top of the hill to see the atom. Come along and join the adventure. Oh, you wanna do it again, you wanna do it again sometime. Oh, can I see you again? So we've just parked up at Wycollar. Tell us why we're here. So we are here because basically it's Wycollar is like an abandoned village. It's kind of lost in time. It looks so eerie and cool. There's, a, there's still a few residents left in a part of it, I think, but cars are totally banned, so you have yep. to park outside the village and walk in. You have to walk right down, so car is parked just there. And then there's like an abandoned part of the village as well that's just been left to nature, and it's now a country park, and it looks really, really it looks, cool. It does look really cool. There's hardly any vlogs on it on YouTube, so... Yeah, we've struggled to find We've had to go by really pictures to know what to expect. So we've come to um, explore it. This was only the only reason we found this was because you've got like a little thing on Facebook, didn't I'm you? I'm sure something came up on my Facebook. It was just page. like a little like, advertisement thing. This looks amazing. And conveniently, we was about an hour from this area, so we thought let's do a little detour. Why not? Have a little look. Have a little and look. Hopefully, which hopefully. I don't think it will disappoint. Oh, and I don't think it's going to rain. Mm, I'm not saying anything. Why color village? 500 meters this way. We might have just done a loop of the car park. We have done a loop of the car it. park. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So this is strange. This is like the part of the village that people still live in. So they're allowed to drive down to their house and park here. But they're the only cars allowed. So we're just kind of walking in the middle of the road. Yeah. Like with no worries whatsoever. It is absolutely beautiful around here though, isn't it? It's very peaceful. Got yourself a little bridge. And then we've got a Ford here. And this is where the abandoned stuff starts. Oh, look at them two little duckies. Got little ducks down there. <laughs> This is so cute. Wow. It's so strange to think like we didn't know this village even existed until Jason just got a little notification on Facebook saying about this place. I can't wait to get in there and have a little look. But look. There's got like a little bridge there. River just flowing down over the ford. So this is where obviously the current residents live all along here. Sharon getting a picture on the uh, bridge as you do. Over you come. Everybody. You're do you're doing the sensible way. I went over the dodgy the way. There. Huh? There's not a troll under the bridge. There might be. So this is the ruins of Wycollar Hall. This is part of the old village that's now just abandoned, here for you to wander around and explore. I feel like we're the only ones here. Which is fine, it's great. I love this kind of stuff, this stuff is really... Oh! Whoa. That's one, that's too close. <laughs> and two, that made me jump. I got attacked by a tree, it's fine. It's just, it's just this, it went down my neck. <laughs> so that branch down the neck, that made me jump has just reminded me that um, Wycollar Hall, or what's left of Wycollar Hall, which we're now walking around, is supposedly haunted by, I think it said two ghosts. So, thankfully that was just a tree branch, but uh, it could be something else. I have no idea what this would have been. It is just a little cubby hole, but there's like, well that's bright. There's like an iron thing on there as if there was a little door or something on it. Maybe it was like a hide or something. Maybe. What's in here? This is just like all open. Weird. So cool. It is very cool. There's just loads of little doorways that you can wander through. Ooh. So the opening part where the flowers were um, is actually a fireplace and the part Jason was saying is a keyhole but the purpose for it was a mystery. Yep. Apparently. So we don't know. And this also shows us, so it was a residence in the 1600s, um, Ferndean Manor, Wycollar Hall, different names. It says it was unlikely it was ever one residence, it was more likely two residences. Um, but these are the different phases of it, so it started off just this blue bit and then it was added to over the years 
And it says that the Cunliffe family. Oh, it's even got here about the ghosts and legends. Oh, yep, yeah, I told you it was haunted. The ruin boasts two ghosts, a headless horseman wow. said to ascend the now missing stairs on full moonlit nights. Well, luckily, we're here during the day. And a lady dressed in black seen at a window. Mm. Ooh. So something else we know about Wycolla and the surrounding area is that the Bronte sisters actually spent a lot of time here and it's thought that Wycolla Hall that we're now wandering around amongst other places in the area actually inspired some of their writing. Um, obviously famous for Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, that sort of thing. Um, and they spent a lot of time around here so it's a very historic place that not many people know about. I mean, ooh. Except for the bugs. <laughs> Just reading that this bridge that we walked over is an old pack horse bridge. So the horses would have made their way over there. The vehicles would have come through the you ford. I think a horse would go over that. It's so narrow. I know. They're not scared like we are though. No. Anyway, the stairs are going to go up. We are going to head up these steps now next to Wycolla Hall and try and find the Panopticon. We'll show you what that is when we get there. Wouldn't be an adventure without some steps now, would it? We do love it. They have actually, they're like brick. So, uh, and they're not, oh, I was about to say they're not too steep. I'll take that back. Go on then you. Over you go. Ooh. Don't trip. I'm all right. This wild sheep, I don't think they're wild. I don't no, think you get wild they're not sheep. wild. We're just heading up quickly to go and look at this sculpture Panna while we're here. Panacoptia, Panna, Panna, the atom. We ain't gonna hurt ya. We're only walking past. Bye then. All the sheep are going downhill. We're the yeah. only silly buggers going up. Oh, up I'm and over. Walk over these, my long legs. <laughs> oh. The only bad thing is. We need to climb up that really steep bit there. That is really so steep. I'd rather do that than walk all the way around. That's true. Shorter, but steeper. Yeah. Ready for this, Sharon? Yeah. <laughs> Sound I convincing? I think. Oh God. This is a high hill. Right. Let's do this. What are you doing? Oh, God. All right, so this just shows how high we are. We're nearly there. I'm knackered, but we nailed it. Oh, God. We're here. Oh, oh. Let's have a little look, shall we? Hello. I come in peace. I see a Sharon of the shoes. She can make it. Whose idea was it to build this on top of the steepest bloody hill in Lancashire? I'm dead. Oh. Ah. Well done for doing it. Is this it? <laughs> so, just a view from a bit further away from it. Do we know what what it is? It's just it's an art installation. It's it's been put there as an art installation, and you can see why because the views are pretty. Oh, spectacular. the views are spectacular. It was a lot of hard work to get up there, but I shouldn't have had that for English this morning. I think without that, we wouldn't have had the fuel to make it up the hill. Fair point. <laughs> Luckily, there's. I don't fancy going back down that hill. It's very steep. No, we can. There is another way. There's another way that way, or if you walk down here, and then we're just down this road down here where my mum's waiting because she didn't want to walk up the hill, which I don't blame her. She made the right decision. I'm yeah. practically dead. <laughs> right, should we go and look at the uh, rest oh, of the yeah, abandoned village? Well, these two are doing Instagram in the sculpture. I just wanted to turn over here and look at the clouds. We've got to the top of the hill. This looks stormy. Probably not the best place to be. That's where we are. I don't know if you can hear all these sheep. Yeah. 
think we should have come up this way. I think all the sheep are warning us because there's a storm coming. They're all going, bah! Do you know, I wondered that. I literally just vlogged the storm cloud behind and I said, I don't know if you can all hear the sheep. They, they're all starting to talk to each other. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think we need to maybe you're uh, it, hurry up get eat your grass it's gonna rain guys <laughs> oh this is a lot better than the way we came up you got my phone? yes i've got your phone Just there you go my phone. Thank you. <laughs> i'm sure the camera's not really showing this hill maybe my uh, shaking is but it's really hard not to pick up speed <laughs> oh yeah no i don't know what they are oh there might be damsons we've also noticed these stones everywhere we thought they were gravestones at first down the bottom but we think they're like an old wall that would have marked the boundary between farmland back way back when before the barbed wire fences that are now behind it that you can see oh it's not easy vlogging and walking downhill weather's taking a bit of a turn yeah it's quite nice though. them sheep were definitely warning us i think mm. is it nice and cooling for everyone it's really refreshing. <laughs> it is still really warm and humid but we're just walking back towards the village that's uh the ruins of white collar hall again down there and we've come across this pepper hill barn that's apparently now a study center they're growing tomatoes in there by the looks they're growing what tomatoes. tomatoes oh yeah so they are just get a last look at the village over to the pack horse bridge and the ruins of white collar hall been joined by two people we are not alone anymore <laughs> I think we made it back just in time. The rain is getting a lot heavier and we've had a couple of rumbles of thunder. I've got to say, I think that's one of the strangest places I've ever been. Very weird, like, very eerie and very quiet. Even though part of the village is still lived in, it was so quiet that the whole place felt abandoned. And it's definitely the weirdest country park I've ever been to. <laughs> Luckily we didn't see any of the ghosts because I think that would have just topped the day off. But um, we got back to the car before the storm really hit. It's all good. Happy days. Happy days, I'm really hot though. Very muggy. We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.